morning everyone it's currently 1 40 a.m where i am i don't know what time you will be watching this but i'm really sorry that this video is a little bit late okay so we are going to continue with our revision this is the example that i wanted to go over with you so a graph of position versus time so this is x or you can call it displacement 2 displacement versus time okay uh, moving along the x-axis is shown in the figure below. Find the average velocity okay, velocity in the following time interval. So, it's asking you for average velocity. And the equation for average velocity is the change in displacement over the change in time. Or we can expand this to be x final minus x initial, t final minus t initial. Now, they are asking you for different ranges of time so now it's asking you for zero uh, to two so let's see zero time to two seconds so if i wanted to know the average velocity it would be the gradient of this equation or sorry the gradient of this graph so zero to two is here to here okay so i connect these two dots together i get this straight line which is exactly on the curve so that's great so if i wanted to calculate the average velocity i would put here in let me label the coordinate first this guy is 210 and this guy is um, 0 0 so 0 0 and 210 so the final x is 2 and the initial x is 0. Uh, sorry, that is it's supposed to be 10. I always get confused this part. So the x final is 10. The x final is actually the y axis. So 10 minus 0 and the t final is 2 minus 0. So you would get 5 meter per second. So that is your uh, velocity for part A. And then the same thing. Uh, 0 to 4. So now it's 0 to 4. Let's re erase this. So now it's asking us for 0 to 4. So 0 to 4, where is that? So it's here to here. Okay, so 0 to 4. This is where it intersects the curve. So now I need to draw the line connecting these two dots because I want to find the average. And I want to find out what is the gradient of this line. The way that I can do that is using this equation. So this is for A. For B, average velocity is... We are trying to find the gradient for this line, okay? So the average velocity is... Let's label this coordinate. It makes my life easy. So this is 4 and this is 6. And then we have over here 0 and 0. So, the top part is the y-axis, 6, 0, and then we have 4, 0. So, this would be 3 over 2, which is 1.5 meter per second. So, as you can see here, the gradient for time 0 to 2 and... What am I trying to write here? The gradient for time from 0 to 2 versus the gradient velocity the gradient or the velocity at time 0 to 4 is completely different you can see that the slope from 0 to 2 is much steeper than the slope from 0 to 4 and the kecerunan dia rendah so you would get a smaller gradient or a smaller velocity because the gradient of this graph would give you velocity okay next uh, 2 to 4 seconds same thing this is the point and then 4, this is the point. Let's label the coordinates because it makes my life easy. As I told you, 4 and this would be 5 and this guy would be 2 and 10. Okay, so this is going to be C. Average velocity for time 2 to 4 is 10 minus 5 and then 2 Sorry, it should be 5 minus 10 because we are doing final, right? This is the line. Got to make the line. So it's going to be 
5 minus 10. Oh, I always get confused here. 5 minus 10. So this is the 5. That is a final Y, initial Y, final X, initial X. So this is 4 minus 2. So this would be 5 over 2, which is 2.5 meter per second. Aha, I made a mistake here. 5 minus 10 is equal to minus 5 over 2. So I would get a negative gradient or a negative velocity. Why would I get a negative velocity? Because this guy is going down so that gradient is negative ataupun velocity is going to be negative previously we saw the line was going up so it gave us a positive value like positive 5 positive 1.5 but when it is going down it should give us a negative okay so please try this one yourself you should uh, find the dots and then connect them find the average Okay, moving on. Uh, so, this is the answer. If you want to take a look at the solution. You tengok kat sini, eh? So, kita buat A, B, C. Please do D and E yourself before looking at the solution. Okay, next. This one. A graph of position versus time. So, again, it's the same graph. Um, find the instantaneous velocity. Just now, we were talking about uh, average velocity now we're talking about instantaneous velocity okay so the difference between them as you would remember from our class is that instantaneous happens in an instant dalam sekelip mata in an instant or very short duration of time so now it's asking you hey what is the instantaneous velocity at time equals to one so time equals to one is here Okay, so that is where the point is. Let me make this bigger because I can't see. Okay, so this is where our our we are interested in this point lah. Okay, so number one over here. And I want to know what is the instantaneous velocity. So if I were to draw a small line over here, it will give me this gradient, right? If I wanted to find over a small duration of time at time 1 but you would see that this is the same gradient as if I were taking the gradient from 0 to 2 dia punya slope tu sama nampak tak? dia punya slope tu sama so when you have an instantaneous when you are trying to find an instantaneous velocity on a straight line on a straight line, eh? Macam ni. It's a straight line, right? It's not a curve. So, when you have a straight line, you can say that, oh, the, the value for instantaneous velocity would be the same as the value for average velocity from 0 to 2. Value dia akan sama. Okay, so, this would be um, V and the value is going to be 10 let me label the coordinates. So this is going to be 2, 10. This is going to be 0 and 0. So 10 minus 0 oops, over tadi? 2, kosong. So this would give me 5 meter per second. So this is for A. Then for B, padam pula. Okay, so for B, it's asking you, hey, what's the instantaneous velocity at time equals to 3? So this is time equals to 3. And again, I told you, if you have an instantaneous velocity that you're trying to find, and it is on a straight line graph. So, kalau lah kita nak imagine, eh, kita nak imagine, kita nak ambil kat sini je. Gradient kita. Tapi sebenarnya, gradient ni sama dengan gradient kat sini. So, baiklah kita ambil yang besar ni sebab senangkan hidup kita. So, I need to draw this nicely. So, it would be from here. This is the line yang sama gradient dengan instantaneous velocity of the pink box. So, sama eh. So, it would be from 2 to 4 second. So, this is going to have a 4 and this is going to have a 5 as the coordinate. And this is 2 and 10. So, this is A and this is B. So, V is equal to... Um, 5 minus 10 over 
4 minus 2 minus 5 over 2 minus 2.5 meter per second. Okay, kenapa kita ambil daripada sini sedangkan kita nak tahu time equals to 3. Time equals to 3 kat sini je. This Sebab the gradient of this guy is the same as the gradient of this bigger triangle. So, kita boleh ambil yang sama. Okay, so please try for 4.5 and 7.5. So, kalau 4.5, let's tengok sekejap. 4.5 kat sini. Okay, so dia on this straight line graph juga. Which means that it would have this gradient. What is that gradient? It's a zero, right? And then T is 7.5. 7.5 is over here. And again, it's lying on a straight line. So I can say that it will have the same gradient as this triangle over here. Label your coordinates. Cari velocity dia berapa. Okay, so this is the solution if you're going to try it. So see, it's zero. Sebab dia dekat, eh, saya gambar dia lain, kat sini. Okay, so that's a, that's a zero gradient. And then you would have a seven, you would have a five if you were finding over here. The gradient over there, okay? So that is for graphs. So now let's go to projectile motions and free fall. Sebab ada kelas yang saya tak sempat cover about this topic. Okay. So, ni ada solution terus. Nak tengok solution boleh. Nak dengar saya explain pun boleh. So, a ball is thrown directly downwards. Okay, directly downwards. Macam ni lah. Dia jatuh. Directly downwards with an initial speed of 7.15. So, equals to 7.15 minus eh. Sebab dia ke bawah. Remember, linear kinematik ni sangat sensitif dengan positif negatif. Gravity kena ada positif negatif. Motion, sorry, displacement kena ada positif negatif. Salah sikit je, dia akan salah. So, make sure your positive and negative are there. So, from a height of 29.8. So, let me rearrange this U lah. Tak cukup tempat. Okay, let me put it over here. Alright. So, now let's put in the height. This is height equals to 29.8. And um, and then it will strike the ground. Maksudnya dia akan reach H equals to 0. So it will hit the ground at H equals to 0. Now what is the displacement of this uh, ball? So remember I told you if you want to find the displacement, always use this equation. Uh, final minus initial. So final is 0 and initial is 29.8. So, you would know that your displacement in the y-axis is minus 29.8. Okay? What else do we know about this situation? Our acceleration cannot change. It will always be minus 9.81 or minus g. Takkan berubah. Okay? Um, what else? So, we want to know the time interval that it strikes the ground. I have the displacement. I have A. I have U. Maybe I can use um, S equals to UT plus 1 over 2 AT squared. Let's try that. S equals to UT plus 1 over 2 AT squared. Is there another equation that I can use? V equals to U plus AT. I don't know what V is, so I can't use that. Uh, v square u square plus 2s tak boleh. Um, I think this is the right one. Okay, so s is minus 29.8, u is minus 7.15t plus 1 over 2 minus 9.81t square. Now you have a quadratic equation here. You want to use your calculator. You don't have to solve it yourself. Eh? Pakai calculator, senangkan hidup. But before you can use your calculator, please rearrange this nicely first. So, I would rearrange this to become um, 9.81 over 2 t squared. I'm going to make it positive. So, this guy also becomes a positive. 7.15 t. This guy becomes a... I bring this to the other side so it becomes a positive 2. No, no, no. It becomes a negative. Because I'm bringing these two guys over here. 
So it maintains its negative. And this would be equal to 0. So using your calculator, make sure you know how to use your calculator. Tekan mod 3 kali. Tekan equation. Tekan degree 2. And then your A value would be 9.81 divided by 2. And then your B value would be 7.15. And then your C value would be minus 29.8. So your answer is T is equal to 1.84. Ada dua jawapan kat sini. 1.84 seconds. And also minus 3.29. Ataupun minus 3.30. Okay. Or. So tengok kat sini. Time is always positive. Pick the positive answer. Pick the positive answer. Okay. Please know how to use your calculator eh. Untuk buat equation quadratic macam ni. Okay. Next one. Um, a student stands at the edge of a cliff and throws a stone horizontally. Okay, let's discuss this. When you say throws a stone horizontally, it means that you only has an x component. So it's just ux equals to 23. So the ui component is equal to 0. Kenapa? Sebab dia baling secara mendata. Okay, it is thrown horizontally. Dibaling secara mendata. Tak ada angle. Angle dia kosong. So, dia hanya ada, dia hanya ada X component. Okay. So, the cliff is H equals to 24. So, this is 24. Okay. Above a flat horizontal pitch as shown in the figure. Um, okay. So, what are the coordinates of the initial position of the stone? So, the coordinates of the initial position of the stone is x, it would be 0, and y, it would be 24 lah. What are the components of the initial velocity? The vx, the v initial x is 23, and this is equal to 0. Write the equations for the x and y components of the velocity of the stone with time. They are asking you to describe... Uh, the equations for Vx and Vy in terms of time. Pakai linear kinematik lah. So, V equals to, this is Vx and Vx equals to Ux, uh, V equals to U plus 18. Okay, so in the x direction, this guy is basically 0. So, Vx is just equals to Ux. And then for Vy, you have Vy equals to 0 plus Ayt. Ataupun, this is going to be G. Itu saja. That is all it's asking. Write the equations for the position of the stone with time. So, again, sama juga. Dia nak minta kita tulis equation je. So, Sx equals to Ut. Uxt lah. And then, Sy is equal to. Ini tak ada. Ut ni tak ada eh. Sebab dia jadi kosong. And then SY would be um, apa? UY P. This is going to be 0. Plus 1 over 2. Minus G. T squared. Okay, so mana yang 0 ni? Saya buang. So you get this for your answer. Yang ni pun kita buat. Kita boleh letak G kot. Minus G. Okay. So that is how you do that. Um, I think if you know the initial conditions, semua tu, you should be able to solve it. This is the solution. Eh? Uh, okay, so this is x equals 0, 24, betul. Our vx is 23 and our v0y is equal to 0, betul. And then the components of the stone's velocity is v v not plus axt 23 plus 0. So, jawapannya 23 sahaja. Then, vy is 0 minus gt. Sama apa yang kita buat tadi. So, substitute je. So, it becomes minus 9.8 uh, darab dengan time. Okay, sama. Okay, and then for the coordinates of the stone during this flight, we use the equation s equals to ut plus 1 over 2 at squared. Okay. Um, so, you would get ut, u untuk x, sorry, u for x is 23, t 
t and then 1 over 2 0 this is your ax memang kosong lah so you would have only 23 times time and then sy sorry <coughs> sy equals to ut plus 1 over 2 8 sorry ut plus 1 over 2 at squared your u is minus g this guy is a zero this is exactly what uh, saya tulis tadi lah and then we find the time of fall. It's asking how long after being released does the stone strike the beach below the cliff. So basically it's asking for the time. So the time of the fall, we need to solve this in terms of displacement in the x in the y axis. Sebab itu value yang kita tahu. Kita tak tahu dia punya range berapa. We only know its height. Ataupun the y displacement. So we use that y displacement equation. Eh? S equals to ut plus 1 over 2 at squared where ut is equal to 0. So you are left with sy equals to 1 over 2 minus 9.81 t squared. What is your sy? We already know this. This is minus 29.8. Okay, so you have both negatives on both sides. So we cancel out. And then 29.8 times 2 divided by 9.81, you square root that, put your answer as the positive answer. Kan bila kita ada square root, kita boleh dapat positif negatif, pilih positif sahaja. Okay, um, 2 times, kenapa 24? Kejap. Is it 24, the height? Kejap. Oh yeah, it's 24. Mana saya datang 29.8 ni? The displacement is 24 and set the silap nombor. Okay, so 24 times 2 divided by 9.81. This is exactly what is happening here. Okay, so it's asking what with what speed and angle of impact does the stone land? So basically you have to solve for Vy and Vx. Cari dulu. So what is Vx? Vx is basically Ux. What is Vy? Vy is minus 9.81 darab dengan time <coughs> yang kita dapat tadi 2.21 ok 2.21 kat berapa ux kita adalah 23 so this is 23 so value kedua ni uh, you find v magnitude ok vx squared plus vy squared you get your velocity Magnitude and then find the direction of your velocity inverse tangent vy over vx. This is just the normal vector equation. Okay, so this you would get this answer if you do it correctly. Okay, sama tak? Sama. 28 darab 2.21 sama. Vx is equal to ux 23 sama. Okay, semua ni korang boleh buat insyaAllah. I am praying for you guys. Okay. Um... Beza atas ni. F. Oh, I missed out the angle. Okay. So, if you get a negative 43.3, what does it mean? If you get a negative angle... Look back at your diagram. This is what I always tell in class. Look back at your diagram. What does the negative angle mean? So it means that if your V is like this, it means that it is below the negative, it is below the X axis by 43 point, berapa tadi? 43, what was the angle? 43.3. So this is the angle over here, eh, kat sini. Situ, eh? So that is how do you know if it's below the x axis or whether it's with respect to the negative x axis? You draw your diagram, resolve it. Okay, jangan pandai pandai teka sendiri, lukis dulu. So below the horizontal, below the positive x axis. Okay, next one. Um, how many do I have? Kena cembanya pula ni. Ida. Oh, tak satu lagi je. Just one more. Okay, bear with me guys. We've already done this one. Sebab so, laju-laju je sebab semua orang dah pandai dah. InsyaAllah. Uh, okay, from the window of a building, a ball is tossed from a height. Why not? 
from a height of y naught. So this is y naught above the ground with an initial velocity of 9.5. Okay, so dari window and dari window. So anggaplah window kita dekat sini. Dia baling keluar dekat height y naught. So dia akan baling keluar ting macam tu. With an initial velocity of 9.5. Okay, so this is our V0, 9.5. And an angle of 15 degrees below the horizontal. So, gambar ni kurang menarik. Biasa lukis balik. So, this is our height. Daripada window kat sini, eh? window. And then, uh, kita akan anggap ni adalah kita punya lantai. So, dia balik tek macam tu. Um, I'm gonna use blue. So, dia punya alamak tak cantik langsung. Dia punya ah, lagi teruk. Tak apalah. So, this is going to be 15 degrees below the horizontal. Okay, macam tu eh. Rupa initial velocity V0. Okay. So, V0 is 9.5. Angle dia macam ni. Macam mana nak tahu kita nak punya resolve macam mana? Draw it. So, this will be your ux. And this will be your uy. So, ux dah boleh tahu dah apa next step. Resolve it. ux is equal to 9.5 cosine 15. Is it a positive? Yes, it's a positive. Uh, berapa tadi? 9.5. Then your UI is 9.5 sine 15. Is it a positive? No, it's going down. So a negative over here. Okay, what else do we know? So I prefer lukis table. Eh? If that helps you, do it. If you don't like the table and you feel like yang ni melambatkan kurang, then don't do it. Apa yang sesuai? Pilih yang sesuai. Okay, so UX, eh? UX is 9.5 cosine 15, this is positive. Ui is minus 9.5 sine 15. And then this ax is 0. So guy is ax minus 9.81. What else do we know? We know that we have sy displacement of 0 minus y0. So it would become minus y0. Displacement kita ke bawah. Kalau kat sini kosong. Kat sini y0, 0 tolak y0. Displacement adalah minus y0. Okay, so it strikes the ground 6 seconds later. Nice, we have the time. So again, time untuk y exists adalah sama dengan time untuk x exists. Tak ada bias kat sini. Diorang sama rata. Okay, so if the base of the building is taken to be the origin of the coordinates... With the upward, with upward, the positive y direction. What are the initial coordinates of the ball? So this would be zero, and this would be y not. With the positive x direction chosen to be out of the window, so this will be your positive x axis. Okay. Um, find the x and y components of the initial velocity. So this would become 9.5 cosine 15. I don't know what that is. Let's see. 9.5 cosine 15. That will give me 9.17. Let's just write it and see if it's correct. And then 9.5 times sine 15. So that is a minus 2.45. Okay. Okay. Find equations for x and y of the position as a function of time. Sama juga macam tadi. Uh, but now we are trying to find sx and sy. Eh? So sx is equal to ut plus 1 over 2 at squared where a is equal to 0. So we just have ut which is 9.5 cosine 15 ataupun kita dah tulis kat sini. 9.17 times time, which is 6. This guy is 55.02. A 
Okay, and then sy. Oh, dia suruh tanya as a function of time. Um, so, it doesn't want us to solve it. it. It just wants us to put it in terms of time. Memang tu biasa mengada-ngada. So, ut plus 1 over 2 at squared. Kita punya u is uh, minus 2.45. Plus ataupun minus 9.81 1 over 2 80 squared. So this is in terms of time. How far horizontally from the base of the building does the ball strike the ground? So kita dah ada SX kita. And kita tahu the ball strikes the ground at time equals to 6. So we just plug it in. So SX is equal to 9.17 times 6. So that would give us 55.02 meter. Find the height from which the ball was thrown. So, kita nak, dia nak tahu what is why not. Dia tak tahu why not tu apa. Dia bagi kita why not je. Dia nak tahu what is why not. Okay, so let's try to find it. Mm. So, SY is this guy. Okay, so it's 2.45. Masa akan sama eh. So, 9.81 over 2 darab dengan 6 squared. So, let's see. Oh, sorry. I missed out this T over here. Okay. So, that would be... Padam balik. 6 minus 9.81 over 2. 6 squared. Okay. So, SY akan bagi kita apa? SY akan bagi kita... Minus y not. So, apa-apa yang kita dapat ni, it will be equal to minus y not. So, let's try it. So, minus 2.45 times with 6 minus 9.81 divided by 2 darab dengan 6 squared. So, I get sy as minus 191.28. So, this guy is equal to minus y not. So, what is why not? Why not is, therefore, why not is 191.28. Okay, how far horizontally? 55.02. How long does it take for the ball to reach a point 10 meter below the level of launching? So, now it's asking, uh, what if... SY is no longer minus 191.28 but is asking what is the time to reach what is the time to reach minus 191.28 minus 10. So this is what it is asking. Eh? Okay, so let's see. Um, this number A betul tak? 0 and why not? Betul. This guy B. B is 9.18 meter per second. Boleh lah, lebih kurang. V not Y. Minus 2.46 meter per second. Boleh lah, lebih kurang. Kita punya web assign ni dia pakai G as 9.8. Tapi untuk exam, please use 9.81 eh. Okay. So, how far? Oh, ni jawapan dia. So, C. Dia kasi, dia suruh cari dalam bentuk T. So, we did this. Correctly. Okay. Since the ball hits the ground at T equals to 6, dapat 55.1. Betul tak? Betul. 55.02. Lebih kurang lah tu. And then since 6, since Y equals to 0, um, what is Y not? Y not kita dapat berapa? 191.28. Lebih kurang. Sama. So when the ball has a vertical display, Okay, saya dia buat silap sikit dekat sini soalan ni. Okay, let's talk about this uh, question. When the ball has a vertical displacement of delta y minus 10. Remember, from a height of, um, berapa tadi? From a height of 191.28 ataupun y not. And then kita sampai ke bawah ni. Kan? This is sy, right? This is sy and we found out that sy is equal to minus 191.28 Now, this question is asking us What if SY is minus 10? Maksudnya daripada atas ni Dia turun sebanyak 10 meter So, berapa masa yang diperlukan 
untuk travel dari sini ke sini. So, dia punya value adalah minus 10. Okay, minus 10. So, kalau kita nak fikir logik eh. 1.28 minus 10. Saya akan, bola ni akan jatuh sebanyak 10. Akan landing dekat 181.28 punya value. 181 punya 181.28 punya value. And what does that give me? SY will be final minus initial, right? Final minus initial. Diturun sebanyak 10 kan? Ni 10. So this would be minus 10. Okay? So this is what the question says. Saya tersilap tadi. Okay, so it will be minus 10. SY is minus 10. So you solve time with respect to SY equals to minus 10. Okay, so just use this lah. Uh, this guy is using v squared u squared plus 2as punya equation. Okay. So this is with respect to y axis eh. Sebab yang ni adalah y axis punya value. So kita kena, kita kena pakai y axis sahaja. Okay. Um, kita nak cari v. Kita tahu u. U is... Saya lupa lah nombor dia apa. U is... U is untuk Y, U is minus 2.45 squared plus 2 minus 9.81 S is our delta Y ataupun delta SY ataupun our SY yang minus equal to 0, minus 10 tu lah. Okay. And then V will be whatever this is. Sama tak equation dia sama. Okay, so you will get a negative answer. Jawapan ni akan ada positif, akan ada negatif. So, this is the tricky part. You have to know that this guy is moving downwards. So, velocity is going to be negative. So, please take note on that. Okay, guys, that's it for revision of Web Assign Chapter 2. Please take note, take note, rather, take note on the things that I mentioned in class from the previous revision. And all the best. I am rooting for you. I'm praying for you. I know everyone will do their best and that is always enough. Okay, so take care. I'll see you later in class. Bye-bye.